Welcome um, to this important uh, part where we are solving quadratic equations. I'm going to show you how to solve them by factoring. Yeah, in the introduction I showed you, you can do it by factoring, completing the square and using the ABC formula. But now we will deal with factoring. And let me write down a quadratic equation. For instance, um, x squared plus 6x uh, plus 8 equals 0. And I've showed you in the previous video that the strategy to solve a quadratic equation is always to equal it to zero. So sometimes you have to rearrange it. It has to equal zero and you have to put it in the correct order. The term of the x squared followed by the term of the x followed by your constant, your number. Okay. And in this case that has already been done for you. And in most cases it has, but it's still important to check. Okay. X squared plus is 6x plus 8. Now, in previous videos, I have showed you how to factorize, okay? Factorizing being the opposite of expanding those brackets. So please have a look at those videos if you have no idea what factorizing is. Yeah, but I'll still uh, give you some sort of introduction. I put those two x's there, yeah? Because if I would expand, I would do, uh, with the FOIL method, x times x, which is x squared, all right? But I have to put a number there and I have to put a number there. But which two numbers, okay? And that's a puzzle, okay? So you really should try to enjoy that. It's a puzzle, which two numbers? Well, the riddle is those two numbers, if you multiply them, should give you eight. And if you add those two numbers, you should get six, okay? So two numbers multiply eight, and if you add them, six. So that's something you gotta think about, yeah? And if you don't see it, yeah? Or if you can't think of those two numbers, no worries, make a factor tree. A factor tree. Why do I call that a factor tree? Well, because it's a factor tree. You see that? All right. The factors of eight, one times eight, yeah? One times eight is eight. Those are two factors. With a one and an eight, yeah? Can I turn that somehow into a six if I add or subtract a one and an eight? No, not really, can I? No. So what are factors of eight? Uh, two times four. 2 times 4 is 8, yeah, with a 2 and a 4, can I turn that into a 6 somehow, adding, yes I can, fantastic. So it is actually plus 2, plus 4, isn't it? Let me just quickly check that, I always check that because it's so easy to make a silly mistake here. So I'll quickly expand it, yeah, I use my fingers, I'm 34, I still use my fingers, okay, so you can do the same thing. X squared, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm expanding it now, X squared, I will do it mentally, 4X, plus 2x, that is my 6x, and 2 times 4 is 8. Fantastic, didn't make a mistake. Okay, so I factorized it. I'm solving the quadratic, quadratic equation by factoring, yeah? And I factorized it, and then I'll go back to this question in a second. I need to realize the following. And I call that, or I don't call it, I think in general we call it, the ZPP. -P. Well, you can forget that if you want, but you need to understand what it means. It stands for the zero, product property, the zero product property. The zero product property, what is that? Well, that means that if I multiply a number by zero, it is always going to equal zero. Or if I multiply zero by a number, that will always equal zero. That's what we call the zero product property. That's a, that's, that's a property of zero, when you have a product, yeah, so a multiplication, the answer is always zero, if one of those two numbers is zero. Okay, the ZPP. Okay, forget ZPP, but what does it mean in this case? Well, it means for it to equal zero, and that's why we have to equal it to zero at the beginning, then the ZPP tells me that either X plus two needs to be zero, or X plus four needs to be zero. Because if this part is zero, then I'll have zero times, because there's a time sign in the middle, a particular number, which will be zero. Or when that part is zero, I'll have a particular number times zero, which is gonna be zero, yeah? So actually by factoring, I'm gonna split the quadratic equation into two linear equations. Do you see that? Because then x is minus two, and x is minus four. Four. So those are your two answers, and indeed, you'll have two answers. And I'll show you in the next video why 
most of the times you have two answers. Okay. Now I could check my uh, my answers, of course, by evaluating the original equation for these two numbers minus two. Let's just have a quick go and uh, make sure. Uh, so this is what you do when you have extra time. Huh? Uh, minus two. Well, let's just put it in here. Minus two plus two. Yeah. Minus two plus two. Minus two plus four. Minus two plus two. Uh, so I'm substituting minus two into the equation. Minus two plus two is zero times two is zero. Absolutely. Minus four. Let's check that one. Minus four plus two. Minus four plus four. Yeah, minus four plus two. That will be minus two times zero indeed is zero. Yeah, and you'll get the same answers if you substitute it there. Okay, so two answers. Factorize it, then the ZPP tells you that either that has to be zero or that has to be zero. So X is minus two or X is minus four. All right, okay, next video I'm gonna show you why or what these two answers mean. I'm gonna give you more examples, okay? So don't worry, I'll see you there.